Welcome back to the show. I'm Guard Swanson. Well, these days it seems like people are more obsessed with what they eat than ever before. In fact, some folks plan entire vacations around amazing culinary experiences. It's what is known as foodie tourism, and one of the most amazing foodie destinations is just a short journey from Seattle in Canada's Cowichan Valley. And what a journey! We took advantage of the incredible Sea and Sky partnership, voyaging up on the Victoria Clipper and flying back on a Kenmore Air float plane. The Cowichan Valley, just north of Victoria, BC, is one of the hottest food and wine destinations in the Pacific Northwest. You'll find incredible wines and beautiful vineyards everywhere. And like Napa Valley in California, it's not just about the wine. They're lovely, though. We found an incredible food culture in Cowichan as well. There's a, a pasta company. There's the guy who first started producing sea salt in Canada out here. Um, there's a tea farm that's out here now. <clears throat> there are cideries, there are meaderies, um, other wineries that you can see, a market garden. Michelle helps run her family business, Venturi Schultz Vineyards. They produce some fantastic wines. But what really sets this vineyard apart is the balsamic vinegar they produce in the true Italian style that takes decades. My stepfather, um, he was the one who started everything with my mother. So he left Italy and he came to Canada and he decided to try and make a barrel just to see if he could, more to prove a point than anything else. And after some tries, he became successful. But that 1970 barrel took until 1986 to work. And then it slowly kind of built into a business. But we're actually not profitable with the balsamic vinegar yet. It does take between sort of 50 to 60 years to turn that first profit, which is why you're not going to see it being produced uh, very many places because it's a really stupid place to put your money. That same craft passion goes into all sorts of food products in the area. Just down the road in the small seaside village of Cowichan Bay, we talked to an artisan baker about the local obsession with food. The Cowichan Valley, I think, is really uh, starting to become more recognized for the foodie culture. You know, 10 years ago, we were referenced as the Provence of, uh, of North America, the, the Cowichan Valley. But still, it takes a lot of uh, uh, effort to get that word out. And oftentimes, people come to beautiful Vancouver Island you know, from the States or from Vancouver, uh, and they know Victoria, and they know Tofino, and they bomb right through uh, the Cowichan Valley where if you just slow down and get off the beaten path, uh, people are blown away uh, by what you find uh, in the Cowichan Valley. When Bruce started True Grain Bakery 13 years ago, there wasn't a whole lot happening in Cowichan Bay. You know, it was very small and we just started doing something that hadn't really been seen, which was true craftsmanship from bread uh, done the proper way, done the old-fashioned way, done in a, an authentic manner with organic ingredients. So every speck of flour that we use comes from a BC farmer and in many cases we know that farmer directly. Next door to the bakery we stopped by Hillary's Cheese where Sonia made us a snack. It, this is a Genoa salami with a little bit of peppercorn. This does uh, come all the way from Genoa, Italy. It's one of our favorites that we like to put on our chicory and cheese board. I really feel that here in the valley, you know, you go next door, you buy your bread, have it on your shoe for come next door get your fresh artisan made cheese and uh, we have some really great wineries uh, here in the valley and it's it's really all about um, getting cheese getting wine and getting bread and, and it's a really great food scene here and whether you're looking for a fine dining experience or a rustic farm to table type setting you can be sure wherever you eat in the Cowichan Valley the chef is taking full advantage of all the amazing food being produced right in their own backyard to check out any of Refine's adventures on Vancouver Island, log on to our website.